thick, thick, thick. Bye-bye. This is, well, for all intents and purposes, this is just an example of my hydrogel and not the LR3 receptor grade. But when we want to talk about a stable, pain-free, non-evaporative, safe for the peptide situation, we want to talk about a gel. And gels keep things from evaporating. Gels keep things from breaking down. And what I've created here is a hydrogel. As you can see, it is thick, thick, thick. Bye-bye. You have to draw that with an 18 gauge or else it ain't coming out. But a 25 gauge, it smooth as silk and absolutely pain-free. So just kind of a fun development, uh, pain-free injections of anything that would normally require acetic acid. In my opinion, in my slightly educated opinion, this solves the problem. But along with my IGF-1 experiment, I had three bottles, so I've tried three different methods. And some of this, look, IGF-1 LR3 receptor grade is very long acting. It can be in the system for two, three, four days, something like that, according to some. It's, it's to be mixed with acetic acid and injected spot injection. I'm going to tell you something about acetic acid. I'm not a friend. I'm not a fan. I'm not a friend. I don't like it. It hurts. I hate those painful shots. So I looked into it, and essentially the reason that acetic acid is used is because it doesn't break down the peptide the same way that if you just put benzyl alcohol in there would, uh, the same way benzyl alcohol would. But to understand this correctly, it's not that benzyl alcohol is harsher than acetic acid. In fact, acetic acid is, it's acid. <laughs> I mean, when we want to talk about breaking something down, you know, acetic acid is clearly more harsh than benzyl alcohol, but it's less evaporative. And that's the real issue when it comes to peptides and BA. So if you have your peptides sitting in benzyl alcohol, it will, they'll have a tendency to become... Uh, basically atomize and evaporate because benzyl alcohol is much more evaporative. So with that in mind, I have come up with a hydrogel that uses benzyl alcohol, but also two other things 